Rome wasn't built in a day. Slow and steady wins the race. How do you climb a mountain one step at a time. These are sayings that come to mind when I think of Rurok's journey to the Atlas 4.0. It's been around a month since I've received my Atlas 4.0 and true to form, I have been putting every last mile in on it. Without revealing too much, I'm happy with the progress Rurok has made, but to know the full story, stay tuned. I'm Chase, this is Chase on Two Wheels, and today is the day. Let's get into the Rurok Atlas 4.0 review. If you're new around here, well, welcome and consider yourselves lucky to come in at this milestone for the Rurock Atlas. It's been quite a road to get here and it's only been four years. I feel like a ton of people forget how new to the market Rurock is. Before we go any further, I do owe you, the audience, to reiterate that I am a Rurock sponsored rider. Now, besides receiving free helmets to ride in and give my feedback on, I also receive funding to stand in as a living, a breathing, a wheeling billboard. That's right, I'm basically the Hoonicorn and Rurok is my monster energy. However, and this is a huge however, what Rurok does not pay for with this channel is our reviews. From the beginning of our partnership, I have always been upfront with them about the sovereignty of my opinion. If I can't say what I want and how I feel about the products they put out, then Rurok and I don't have an agreement to work on. Because we live in a time when there is a surplus of growing companies flocking, literally flocking to content creators for shout outs and, and ad spots, we have to not only be careful with who we choose to endorse, but how we choose to endorse them as well. So apologies for the tonal shift right from the get go, but I wanted all of my disclaimers out in the open so you all can make the best decision and most informed decision for yourselves. Now, on to what may be the most controversial helmet of all time. Let's be honest, there has been quite the chatter about the Atlas 4.0 and that's going off just our comment section alone you start to slowly go outside of those bounds and things start to look well, let's just use the word passionate. Actually, in terms of the motorcycle products, Rurock and the Atlas 4.0 itself seem to be the catalyst for all types of conversation. We've seen people crying about how much they love the design and they can't wait for that day that they get to be the coolest kid on the block. On the reverse side of that, we've also heard the horror stories of less than ideal dealings with the company in the way of customer service, quality control, shipping, and sometimes the, of course, unfortunate case of returns. We have witnessed emotions by the metric f ton surrounding Rurok and the Atlas, so much so that things start to bridge into the territory of the rider doth protest too much. But it's to be expected when Rurok is still the new kid on the block and coincidentally also the cool kid on the block. All we can say is haters gonna hate. But some things we don't hate are the updates Rurok made since the 3.0. Coming in with the 4.0 is a completely redesigned interior to meet and exceed ECE 22.06 standards. And yes, that is the reason why the size has changed. I know, I know. I don't enjoy having to refigure out my helmet size either, but if it keeps my noggin safe, I can't be too upset. By a show of hands, how many of us were confused by the weird schmedium and large and le extra large and extra le extra extra large? Okay, cool. Not just us, right? Not sure if y'all knew this, but Rurok has the sizing guide built into their website, as well as a handy dandy video showing the exact same process. You're welcome, and you can thank me later. Also, something of note is the up in quality for the interior fabric. Rurok has splurged for this moisture wicking suede like material that it feels like two microfiber towels gracing my cheeks. As far as touching the padding, I actually prefer the 3.0's material on the outside. It's a little silkier, feels a little softer on my face. But as far as padding goes, that is the 
only thing I prefer on the Atlas 3.0. The foam on the inside is multi-density, which means each piece of foam, it's like layered. Each layer is actually a different density, which means it won't break in the same. If you guys look at the Atlas 3.0 foam, it's like a light piece of foam. And then you look at the 4.0, and it's like 15 different little slots of foam and they're all different densities. If I'm gonna be 100% honest, the difference between the Atlas 3.0 and 4.0 has helped me as a reviewer understand motorcycle foam and the difference of multi-layer and foam densities. It holds your face really well. And if you wore an Atlas 3.0 as much as I rode an Atlas 3.0, and it broke in as much as it did, you lose some of that tight fit. So you'd have to end up replacing the, uh, the padding. Not gonna happen here with the 4.0. Like I said, the foam on the 4.0, night and day difference. It literally could not be any more different. Incredible that they made that big of a change. Like it, it feels like it's totally from a different company. Okay, I'm done talking about foam, moving on. Something else new to the Atlas 4.0 is Rion, pronounced re on. You know these little blue hexagons built into the liner? Yep, these little hexagons also play a hand in protecting the old moneymaker by acting like a certain non-Newtonian fluid made famous by the good doctor himself. And no, I don't mean the one who can't seem to regenerate as a ginger. Now on the outside of the helmet, just above where the Rion sits, you might notice that there is a vent missing. Have no fear, Rurok actually got rid of that to help with drag, which is something that all of us in the shop noticed with the Atlas 3.0. It wasn't very often, but sometimes on the highway when we would find ourselves going in a we'll just call it a full send fashion, we would all notice that it would felt a slight tug on the helmet. That has since gone the way of the dinosaur, hashtag rar. That's not to say you feel dirty air on the highway, but you should slip through the air like a Virginia class submarine heading out to sea. Uh, they have one less vent up top and the other vent is now open and closable. Now these front vents have always been open and closable. The opening and closing mechanism is on the inside. I do kind of wish they used the same mechanism on the top vent as the front vent. I don't really like my front vent being open and closable from the inside. I, I feel like I'm never going to utilize that. It is good that they add the open and close on the top because, I mean, we're talking about a premium level helmet, right? This thing's like four or five hundred bucks. That, should, that was an upgrade that really needed to happen. That reminds me, another big upgrade is the sound inside of this helmet. Now, a big area of improvement for the Atlas 3.0 was just how loud it was to be inside the helmet. In my case, I ride with earplugs, so that cuts down on the noise significantly, but any ride longer than a normal commute would typically end in a migraine. Coming in with the Atlas 4.0, Rurok made it a priority to increase the sound dampening capabilities to extend the amount of time riders can comfortably spend in the helmet before having to take a break. By some witchcraft, a combination of different internal materials, the missing top vent, and a few slight form changes have reduced the internal noise significantly. I would say as far as percentages wise, I'd say the Atlas 4.0 is probably 50 to 60% quieter than the 3.0, which is a welcomed upgrade. I will say if you wanna add an extra 10 to 20% quietness, you can put these little ear pads in. They're very strange little things, but they just add a little more padding between the helmet, like the outside of the helmet and your ears, and they're actually working out really well. Now, I still ride with earplugs for the extra precaution, but I do that with every helmet. Gotta keep my ears in check to hear that sweet, sweet music that will eventually come out of my shockwave, which you can now use with the app chain to bridge the gap between you and your buddies, no matter what type of communicator they have. Sadly, we can't speak to that directly because we're focusing on the helmet for this go around, but let us know in the comments if you'd like to see us experiment with the app chain. Now that we've been through the overview, it's time to hit the streets for a quick ride so I can stop, elaborate, and listen. And listen? What am I listening to? Oh, right, nothing, because I can't hear any wind noise. Woo! All right, guys, we're out and about with the Atlas 4.0. 
been riding with this thing for about a month, like I said, and I've got some opinions, as per usual. We do have that thing that Rurox have kind of been known for since they came out, and that's lightness. These things are carbon fiber helmets. They are extremely light. I tell you, every single person that has come into the shop uh, that has never felt a Rurox helmet, I always hand them one of the helmets, and I'm like, here, check out this Rurox. And the, sec the first thing every single person always says is, holy crap, that thing is light. And it is. It's, it's a super light helmet, which is really nice for me. You know, if you're motor vlogging and you're attaching all types of shit to your helmet, having a light helmet to start with, super helpful because you add so much weight with cameras and, and microphones and audio packs, or at, at least I do. So I love being able to start from a, a light platform and then kind of build off of that. Hopefully that makes sense. I like the helmet for that lightweightness for sure. Next up guys, uh, one of the things that I have proven to really love about this helmet is the visor. These things are so clear. I love the amount of uh, color options you have for them as well. One of the cool things Rock still does is when they uh, ship their helmets out, they ship them out with a clear visor and a smoked visor like you guys see that I have on right here. But my real favorite are the photochromatic visors, the you know reflective ones. I personally love those. I think the Mercury here looks best with a black visor, so I've got this one on here. Uh, but I love those photochromatic ones. As you guys have seen on my uh, my liquid carbon, I've got that orange photochromatic one, and it looks so good. I think a pink one would look good on here, but right now we only got the dark smoke one. Every Rurok that has come out, this is currently the 4.0 obviously, every Rurok that has come out has had some sort of big deal upgrade that they've added to it. So the Atlas 1.0, that was just the oh my gosh look they actually made a helmet and it looks really cool right looks were the primary driver as well as the weight next up we had the atlas 2.0 which made a lot of small little modifications to the atlas that they really needed remember the atlas 1.0 was the first motorcycle helmet rurock made then we come to the atlas 3.0 and if we're going to be honest i think there was a big whoopsie daisy with the 3.0 I feel like the pads in the 4.0 here should have been in the 3.0. I think that was a major whoops that Rurock made. The Atlas 4.0, this one I'm wearing, is probably the first helmet that Rurock has put out that's worth that larger price tag, that premium price point. I know a lot of people are going to say that, they're like, well, why did you promote the other helmets? I promoted them because they were unique for their time. It was the only helmet you can get that looked like that. It was a super light helmet. It, it had qualities that made it that higher price point. If you don't care about looks and you don't care about the, the lightness, this is the first one that's worth that four to $500 price point. Now, that's to be put into perspective with getting to this helmet in four years. That is an astounding job from a company that was literally just making snowboard helmets. At the end of the day, I am super happy with this helmet. Do I have any up updates? You know, honestly, the only thing I could think to update on this helmet would be the open and close in the front. I, I truly cannot think of anything else. I still love the fit lock. I love the visor. I love that they're pin locks. I, I feel like they've reached the level where the regular consumer is going to uh, accept this helmet is like, that's a premium damn helmet. And what have I been telling you guys since my very first Rurock video? The one reason that I support this company as much as I do is because I believe in the company, not the helmet. Obviously, I believe in the helmet and I wouldn't wear them. It's a safety product. I wouldn't wear it if it wasn't safe. But, I mean, they've grown a massive amount since this helmet first came out. But we still have a company where we can dictate what they add to a helmet. They actually listen to their audience and they implement that stuff. So put your comments down below. If you have an Atlas 4.0, let us know what you would like to be updated because Rurock looks through the comment section, especially on my video, but like they, they look at comments all over the place. And if you guys want to change what a helmet can become, this is the time. All right, guys, we're back at the shop. Let's uh, wrap this video up with a tidy little bow. Guys, it's not easy trying your hand at something new. 
It's even harder trying something new when you have to compete with others who have a monumental head start. Shoei has been producing helmets since the late 50s. For Bell, it was the early 50s. Arai also started manufacturing motorcycle helmets in the early 50s, but they made industrial headgear well before then. We can round that to about 60-ish years for the sake of the argument. 60 years and Rurok got it in their head to go compete with the big businesses. Now, just to put that into perspective, that's like a little league aged athlete competing in the Olympics alongside Naomi Osaka, Apollo Ono, and Usain Bolt. The most astounding thing is four years later, they've got their way up and they are laser focused on the throne. That seems like a good place to leave off. So guys, let us know if you like the Rurok Atlas 4.0 review. Do you have one already ordered? Are you still on the fence? I know this is a helmet I have been waiting for. It checks all the boxes and there aren't really any compromises. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all on the next one. Outro crew. Are you guys happy with the improvements Rurok has made? What other features do you think should be incorporated in the future? Make sure to put OC in your comments so we see you guys and love you longer. We'll see you on the next one.